Hey hello everyone, in this video I will be showing you how to solve the problem MongoDB service is not showing or missing in the services dialog box. So as you can see here I am not having MongoDB, MongoDB is MO okay, I have MI and MY okay, I am not having MO over here. So it's really simple to solve this problem. So actually like this is the single command that you want to run to get the service but you have to also have here two paths between these double quotes okay, between these double quotes. Okay, so I will show you what are these paths. Okay, first. So, first thing what you do is you have to go to the folder where you have installed your MongoDB server. Okay, so by default, the path is C program files and you will be having MongoDB server 4.4. And the first path is you have to go to data. Okay, so this is going to be our first path. So, just copy this full path and go here just paste it between these two double quotes okay so this will come over here this is the path that i have added now and our second path will come over here so for the second path what you do is just come back here folder you will be having this bin right just click on bin just copy this path and go over here and just paste it within these double quotes okay just paste it and here is it bin and you will be also adding another one particular file over here which is going to be slash mongod.log okay dot log so you're go just going to add this file over here so i think you can see this path or let maybe let me just zoom it a bit okay i think this now makes sense to you so this is the first path okay data and this is the second path so i would recommend you to manually just go to the folder and get your path and rather than copying it from here because sometimes your mongodb server version can change so you have to just specify the server version that you are having i am having your 4.4 that's why i'm putting your 4.4 so just put your own version okay what you're going to do is you're just going to copy this full path copy it and now i will also show you my still my mongodb is not present okay it's not in the services just go to start type cmd and click here run as administrator okay really important thing you have to run it as administrator so it will ask you to uh, allow to make changes to your device just click yes and you'll be getting your command dropped in the administrator mode so just paste it and just hit enter okay so that's it we are done sometimes it will it will show some text over here and sometimes it may won't show but if you aren't getting any error, that's well and good. So once you're done with the thing, you will be going to services, but nothing would have changed. You we won't be having here MongoDB. But the twist is that just close it and now again open services and if you just now go to M, we will be having MongoDB. Okay, and just start the service. Now as you can see our mongodb server service is running now and now i will just go to the normal command prompt okay and now i will just go and type mongo okay and this time i will be getting the mongodb shell command prompt itself so i can you can just run any mongodb commands it will just work and in case if you're still getting many problems what you need to do is what you need to do is you need to just go to, go to start and type environmental variables just open and go to here inventory variables and user variables or system variables so just going to go to path okay just click edit and you need to have this mongodb server bin path over here okay so i think these are some of the ways you can solve this problem and i hope you have found this video useful i also done many other videos in c c plus plus java python as well as sql queries as well as interview questions so do check out the videos of my channel subscribe and support me thanks for watching